on your full scrap, uh, write down this. Uh, can you read for me the, 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 the bracket what? 2x squared. 2x squared. Minus 1 over 3x power 9. So this is your question 6. Uh. Now, uh, what does independent term mean? Independent term means uh, if I were to expand this using the formula, I will have altogether 10 terms. Then out of these 10 terms, I'm going to choose one with x to the power of 0. Do you understand? But it's very painful if I were to expand 10 times because by the time I finish writing, time is almost up. So therefore, I will use the general term formula. So can you look at the revision notes again? Uh, this thing here, uh, term r plus 1 equals to this. I will copy this onto the below. Uh. So you may want to copy as well. So can you write down term r plus 1 equals to n choose r, a r, n minus r, sorry, b r. Yeah, you have to find which term is it. So the idea here is, you want to find r equals to what? That will give you the independent term. Because right now, I don't know, is it term number 1, term number 2, term number 3? Which one exactly will give you? I don't know. I could expand everything, but I don't want to. So I de therefore, I use this method. Okay, let's see how to use uh, term r plus 1 I copy. Put in all the numbers that you know. What is n? 9, choose r. r I don't know because you want to find r. Ma. What is a? 2x squared, 9 minus r. What is b? Then this is R. Okay. So my question next is, I want to find X to the power of 0, right? Is it easy to identify here? Can I can I say, uh, hey, stop talking please. Can I say, uh, the X squared 9 minus R uh, equal to 0. Can I say that? How many say yes? You don't get it. You don't get what? You don't repeat your question? Oh, uh, <coughs> okay, Tiffany is asking, uh, I don't understand why you can say x squared to the power of this can be equal to this, right? Uh, what I'm asking you is, you see the value of r can change, am I correct? Value of R can change. The value of R can change from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If the value of R change, then I can equate to 0. But is it fair to compare x squared 9 minus R with x to the power of 0? You look at this thing here, how many x do you have? There's actually one here. There's actually one here. So you must first combine the x before you can compare. Do you understand? Okay, so let's try. Uh. So how do you split the term? Two to the power of nine minus r x square nine minus r. So you split up the two things. Then over here, how can you split? Minus one to the power of r three x to the power of minus r. Because it's a denominator mass, if I were to flip up, it's negative. Do you remember something like that? We got, got to go back and recap already. Uh. Then after that, what do I do? I will combine the x together. So I have 9r. So what I'm doing here is I'm copying everything, but I'm combining this and this into this. 
Now, can I equate this to x to the power of 0? Now you can already, right? So, you equate means you will write down x Then here, the the r and the, the the three and the negative r I split out. Split out. Split out means this is three to the power of minus r x to the power of minus r. Ah, uh, plus what? D a m times a n is a m plus n. Then I go and find the R. Familiar? Recall? Ah, uh, this one goes to zero. So the power goes to zero. Then you find R. Then you put it back. Then you can get. Alternatively, is to expand that thing ten times, and then you see which one. But if the power is one hundred, then GG. Uh. Then you have to expand hundred and one times. So quite difficult. Uh, because they want to find independent term. The question says they want to find independent term. Oh, no, because this one can be any number. This number can be 1, can be 2, can be 3, can be 4. The, the box there can be any number. But since I want x to the power of 0, I want to find what number is r so that it will become power of 0. So, Rachel, for example, uh, if let's say I want to find x squared, then this, I will equate this to 2, example. If I want to find x cubed, I will equate this to 3, to find what is r. It's not dependent on x, but just nice, the question in question 6 asks the term independent of x. The interest in x to the power of 0. So, you equal to 0. Okay? Right, go and try. I will talk to you on Monday. Monday, can you complete this as well? Okay? Alright, thank you class.